Hello there. I welcome you to another edition of uh, Mentoring with Bola Adewara. Today, we want to look at this very important topic. How to prepare for your old age so you do not suffer. How to prepare for your old age so you do not suffer. Uh, old age is a period where the body is weak, the age has accumulated, and you are almost incapable of helping yourself. The dictionary meaning of old age is the latter part of normal life. Wikipedia refers to old age as the period you are nearing or surpassing the life expectancy of human being and is thus the end of human life cycle. Terms and the feminism include old people, uh, the elderly, seniors, senior citizens, older adults, and uh, some people call them elders. This is a period after you have worked all your life and you are now expected to be taken care of either by the government or the society or even your children or all of the above. While the, expect the expectation is uh, true in the developed world where being old is a big privilege, in many parts of the developing world, especially here in Africa, being old is a big scare if you do not do the right thing if you do not, uh, if you do not um, uh, 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 prepare for it when you were young and working with your strength and energy. A lot of people in Africa spend the better part of their lives working for government and organization, training their children, taking care of their family, but forgot to take care of the most important person in this equation, himself and his old age, all things being equal. Many of us forget this. We spend all our lives working, training your children, training these, training that, taking care of families, but they forget, we forget to take care of ourselves, especially when we are in our old ages. What age is the elderly? In some parts of the world, especially the developed world, people you know, cited ages uh, 70 as the start of old age. In Nigeria, 80% of the people we spoke to on this, when we were researching this topic, believe that 65 and above is old age. Taking a cursory look at the lives of people in their 65 and above, 80% of them are not doing good in this part of the world. There is no facility for the senior citizen to engage with. No social benefit as it happens in uh, other parts of the world. There are uh, uh, so many challenges. There are uh, what they have saved and invested in their young ages or to be catered for by their families. They are left, you see, many of them are left to take care of themselves or maybe what they have done, or what they have taken care of, or things like that, in their, in their old ages. What they have done when they were young, you know. In situations where the children are not in good position to take care of their aged, many of the senior citizens are still found doing some menial jobs, like security guards, gardener, they will be trading, go to the streets. You will find a lot of people in their old ages. You find so many of them, 60 and above, 65, 70. They are still working, all because they have not taken care of themselves. There is nothing available for them to take care of themselves. Many of them have become burdens on families in the cities, some on churches or charity organizations. At a stage, if the children are unable to cater for their old ages, they are transported back to the villages where they suffer bad health, do menial jobs, and rot till death. It will not happen to you in the name of Jesus. It is a life of hardship 
for 70% of men and women in their old ages in many parts of Africa. I have traveled far and wide, and I see that the situation for people in their old age is not a cheering news. Why does this happen to them? Why do this happen to them? Many people were not taught how to prepare for their old age. They were left to believe that the bonds will be strong forever. Good life will happen by happenstance and God will take care of them in their old ages. This is what so many of them believe. So many people, you know, probably thought that they were hanging their lives in the hands of God without reading the religious books properly to understand how to live one's life in the hands of God. If you don't work and take care of yourself in your old age, forget it. God will not come from heaven to take care of you. The same error our parents made are still being made by many youths today. Many youths, as we say, do still eat with their ten fingers. You understand that language? That you are eating with your ten fingers. They have no savings or prepare for their old age. Pains in the old age does become a generational does become generational in most families. This lecture is a clear on call for all and sundry to take action right now concerning your old age. Now, how do we prepare for old age that you may not suffer? How do we prepare for old age that you may not suffer? Preparing for old age in Africa is diametrically different from the same in Europe and in, uh, and in America. The majority of the things you ask God to provide for you in this part of the world, government have, provi have provided it for them in America. In the developed world, government have done most of these things. In this part of the world, you wake up in the morning and your prayer starts from, Oh Lord, let there be electricity today. Lord, let, me, let, there, let there be uh, fuel today. In America, things, these, are not their, these are not their prayers. Therefore, in developed countries, preparing for old age is much simpler. You will hear some of them say that, uh, uh, adapt your home, uh, put your staircase here, put your bath here, do your kitchen this way. That is the understanding of preparing for old age in places like America or uh, in, 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 in Europe. They will tell you how to present a hazard for old people, how to, pre how to prevent falls, um, consider your housing option, think ahead about how to get help that you may need, plan for emergency, write uh, advanced care directive, write your will, do not worry what others will think, nurture your relationship, stay physically active. This is what they will tell you in that part of the world. But in this part of the world, it is totally different. What to put in place while one is young that will preserve the one that will serve as an insurance at old age? I am going to sound philosophical, but it is the reality of life. Investment in properties, companies, having great savings are good ways of guaranteeing a better life in your old age. But most times, these do not offer people a fulfilling old age. There are three kinds of children. There is the male child. There is the female child. But the one that can give you a fulfilling old age is the kind child. The kind child. I had this. From a man, I said, it is not important that you say, I have children, no, I want, a, I want a, a male child, I want a female child. No, pray that you will have a kind child, a child that will be kind to you in your old age. A child that will remember that, oh, my daddy did this for me when I was young. My daddy or my mommy did this for me when I was young. I cannot leave them to suffer in their old ages. Many of the children these days, they don't even remember these things. They have their challenges. They are concerned with their wives or their husbands. So many of them might not remember you. When you say, oh, I am putting, oh, my children will take care of me when I'm old. Don't ever think so. I am not praying evil unto you. No. But 
Don't put your life or your old age in the lives of your children. But however, let us pray that may God give us kind children. If God gives you one, whether kind male or kind female, you are favored and blessed. Now, in Africa, more intrinsically, in countries like Nigeria, preparing for old age will involve the following. One, durable comfort. If you have your pen there, please start writing. Durable comfort. Having a personal building with all conveniences like borehole, generators to provide electricity and security, personal vehicles for transportation, access to quick Medicare. Also, investment in proper health care insurance scheme is another good consideration. Look out for this kind of comfort, durable comfort. Prepare them when you are in your 40s or in your 50s, when you are in your 60s, so that in old age, you will not suffer. Get maybe a good card out you will need to use in your old days that you will not start taking bus or start taking taxis from here to that place. Have your own personal home so that uh, the, the landlord will not start coming to knock your door. It is not funny in your old age when you are still paying rent. My brother, listen to me. It is not funny to be paying rent in your, in your old ages. Do all you can now to get your own home in your 50s, in your 40s, in your early 60s. Do all you can to have your own home so that you don't pay rent in old ages. Two, investment and income. In your old age, in this part of the world, you must have an income. Do not build your hopes on children. My children will be giving me money. Like I said earlier, don't put your hopes on stuff like this. Find something that will take care of you independently of anybody. You might say your children will be sending money to you at the end of the year. It might not be so. It might not be so. It is not funny in old age. When you are still holding on, I'm waiting for uh, Kola Wale to send money to me. I'm waiting for Viola to send money to me. It is not funny. I have seen people like that. These children that we have these days, they have their responsibilities. It is those days you will find parents, they will say, oh, my mom is at home, he's suffering at home. I'm going to send money to them. How many of them, look at even the, some of the children we, we have these days, many of them will collect salary. Those days when we were young, they told us that in your first salary, you give it to your daddy, you give it to your mother. Those are the training we have. Many of you who, are, who have children who have started working, how many of them brought their salaries to you? You understand me? So don't put your confidence in children. Find something that will earn you income. Something that will put food on your table in your old age. In cases where they are unable to help much, you will become liabilities on your children leading them to disrespect you and you suffer hunger. Every person must be the future where income could be guaranteed from investment, from your property, from assets, from things you have done. Some people maybe could be their books that is bringing in money from them. Something must bring money for you in your old age. Number three, something to keep busy. When you are sitting at home doing nothing in your old age, diseases set in. You become a source of ridicule in your neighborhood. Everybody coming to greet you every day. Daddy, how are you feeling today? It's because you are not busy. This is particularly difficult on men who were once breadwinners, agile and active. There must be something to keep you busy that will take you away from home. Or when your wife goes on Omogo, like I said some, you know, somewhere, only women do Omogo. You understand what I mean by Omogo? They will say, okay, they're going to take care of the children, of their, their children. Men don't do it. When your wife leaves home to take care of children, 
of their children there, you are left at home. What will you be doing at home? There must be something that keeps you busy. Maybe a farm or a kind of business somewhere. In old age, ask them. Most women will not sit at home there. But uh, there's a man close to me here. Today is in Canada. Next tomorrow is in America. The another time is in uh, is in uh, Italy. Another time is in uh, South Africa. In a whole 365 days that makes a year, hardly does this woman spend one month in Nigeria. Only the Baba is always at home, and you will find him every morning. He's on the balcony calling the bean seller. Men, find something to do. Create something now that will keep you busy in your old age. Don't just think, I will retire and I will be at home. No. Men should know that only women do omugo, where they go and help children who just put to bed. Women could move from one house to the other. Men cannot do that. Men don't do omugo, I repeat it. Living, and also another thing is that it is not funny for men in this part of the world to start living with children. It is easy for women to say, oh, my son is there, he goes there. My daughter is there, she goes there. It is not the same thing for the men. I don't pray. We say, well, I will become liability on my children. I'll start moving from their one home to the other. I don't pray for such things. Therefore, men should have business to keep them busy. A farm, maybe a teaching appointment somewhere, maybe speaking appointment, maybe pastoring, and any kind of light business that will keep them busy and engage outside the home. When you are also busy, you keep diseases away, and you are not a liability on your children. The prayer of every parent is to be able to flourish in old age. It's in the Bible. Such that even your children, children will come to you and be saying, Daddy, what is on the table now? Daddy, what is there for us? The Bible says, a good man leaves an inheritance for his children, children. I am not looking up to see whereby I will be calling my children, send me some money to me today, send money to me tomorrow. I am not praying for that. If my children give me my old age, is an addition. I will praise God for them and I will bless them. But that I'll be troubling them. Oh, yeah, they like they send money to me. Uh, they, uh, to just send money to me. Hey, I don't have any money. I'm not praying for that kind of old age. Don't pray for that kind of old age. Do something now. Number four, keep a great family. How do you prepare for your old age? Keep a great family. A man should settle down quickly in marriage. Have few children in good time so that he will not be paying school fees in old age. Many of us, if you are not very careful, if you don't get married very early, you might pay school fees until you are 65, even some people up to your age 70. Some people will even give birth and it is their firstborn who will be paying school fees of the last born or of the second to the last born. I tell, I tell you, my friend, let your children know this truth. Let them marry early so that before age 35, they are true with having children. Some of us, we, start, we got married at about 36. When you marry at age 36, you are still having children up to age 45. You will pay school fees up to age 60. A man should build a good home, give his children adequate spiritual, moral, and sound education so that in his old age, he will not be troubled by these children. When you don't give your children good moral education, check out what is happening to some parents now in their old ages. What kills them easily is their children. When they come to meet them, your, your son is uh, pulling trouble somewhere. Your son is uh, doing this here. Your son is doing that all because they did not give them good spiritual and moral education early in life. This is the challenge so many parents face in their old ages. Therefore, I implore you, do something so that your old age will not be spent running after your children. Give your children godly and promising education. You should have a cordial, a good man will have a cordial relationship with his spouse to guarantee peaceful home where there is no rancor and unforgiveness about the past. Do not have issues all the time with your wife. 
I pity some men who have shown their wives pepe. When old age comes, she will not stay with you. She will be moving from one omo to another. Another one child to the other child. And then you will be left alone. So please, men, especially men, keep a good home so that your wife will not live in unforgiveness when the old age comes. Number five, how do you prepare for old age? Living beyond your means. Do not live beyond your means like trying to be like the Joneses. Fornication today, adultery there. Consciously or inadvertently going into polygamy. Having a retinue of wives and concubines. Providing that will, that will keep providing, uh, keep producing wayward children that will constitute themselves into nuisance in your old age. You'll find some people, they have 14, 15, 20, 30 children. Some of them don't even know the number of children they have. And before they know it now, they, don't, they cannot even take care of them. It is the mothers that will be taking care, running from here to there, just to take care of these children. Some of them, it is the elderly that take care of the younger ones. It is not a good life. Number six, how to prepare for good old age, healthy lifestyle. Eat good food, very good uh, so, uh, sources of protein from lean meat, egg, beans. Aim for 25 to 30 grams of protein at every meal. Keep a healthy lifestyle. Engage in regular exercises. Including resistance, resistance training to maintain muscle and strength. Do strength training. We naturally lose muscle as we age. And working out with weight helps all sort of things there. Now, one thing many of us should realize that some of the challenges we have in our old ages were things we dipped our hands into when we were young. Some of this is accumulating the body and they will start manifesting in our old ages. Some people, all oh, what you have eaten, the sugar, the jedi jedi leading to jedi jedi and all these sort of things there. Some people, maybe the kind of fornication and then some of these diseases is hanging somewhere in your body. Now, when the body resistance is low and then it comes up. And then you find some people throughout their old age, they are battling with diseases. They are battling with problems. In such a way that even your children will say, I am tired of this papa. How I wish he's dead today. How I... so, haven't you had some children say so? They wish their parents are dead. Because they are tired. These are the challenges. Do regular medical checkup and do not be afraid to confront medical issues on time. Most of the diseases and sicknesses that challenge people in their old ages were often things they, that took root in their body earlier in life. Early detection is a piece of great advice for every one of us. Number seven, how do we prepare for old age? Goodwill. Be a man of goodwill who touches lives and shapes destinies. A man who builds men with goodwill among friends with whom to spend your old age. You cannot be alone in your old age, my brother and my sister. You cannot be alone. Who are your friends? With whom have you had good relationships? Some people don't have relationships with people who they went to, to secondary school together any longer. Meanwhile, many of them are still alive. The relationship you build in secondary school, sometimes it lasts long. Are you a member of your old student association? You need to be, start building friends with whom you will spend your old age now. Have good relationship with several close friends. Join church society, social clubs, old student association to have places to visit and unwind in your old age. Invest in everyone who comes around you, you do not know on who it could fall to take care of you in your old age. Number nine, I'm getting towards the end of it. 
Or number eight, social engagement. Be active in your communities and religious places of worship where you can be actively engaged as mentor or as advisors or as a leader. Do not be a loner in your old age whose lives and presence means nothing to anybody in the neighborhood. Seek opportunities for community engagement. In your church, you can be engaged as a Bible class teacher, associate pastor, choir master, prayer leader. Don't be a loner. It is a good time to go to seminary. Maybe when you retire, find a place to go to. Maybe a seminary whereby you can study the Bible more and you'll be well equipped for the ministry, for the ministry assignment. Number nine, act happy and be happy. Montaigne, uh, I don't know, maybe many of you know him, says that uh, it seems to me that in old age, our souls are subject to more troublesome ailments and weaknesses than in our youth. No one wants to age into a querulous, isolated uh, person. Be happy or being happy is a safeguard against many ills. Having fun, making time for friends, and keeping up with the family traditions are important steps to happiness now and forever. Live a happy life. Live a happy life. That's my lecture today. I believe you have learned something on how to prepare for your old age so that you will not suffer. I believe you've learned something. I thank you for joining me. And uh, if you have gained something today, please let me know. You can follow me on our YouTube channel, eLife Mentoring TV. Or you can just search eLife Mentoring TV. You'll find it there. Or you can go to my website, bolaadewara.com. It's also there. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you have any comments or you have any question, please put it there. I will be available to uh, respond to you. And if you'd like to call me, our number is 80 24 It's easy to remember. 80 I thank you for being with me. The Lord bless you. Thank you.